The world is full of white men who are attracted to black women, who would love to date black women, who would love to marry black women, who would love to start a family with a black woman. I'm living proof of this, <laughs> and I overcame all of the obstacles and all of the hurdles and all the social issues that we psych ourselves out over approaching that black woman of your dream. So today we want to talk about the top five reasons why white men are afraid to approach black women. And we are going to hear from my wife, who is going to advocate for you and to help you work through some of these issues that are keeping you sitting on your hands and not chasing down that woman of your dreams. So the number one reason why white men tend to be afraid to approach black women is because they just automatically assume that black women aren't into white guys. They think that they don't find white guys attractive. I'm gonna pass the ball directly to you. What would you say to the white guy who's thinking, well, I've got my eyes set on her, but I just don't think she's gonna find me attractive. I personally think this white man is attractive, and I'm pretty sure that there is a lot of women out there that believe that you are attractive as a white guy, you know, vice versa. And we didn't come out of the cage, and this idea that, you know, we are not good together, we are not meant to be together, and stop creating these things in our minds to prevent us from being happy. A lot of times, we stand in our own way. Yeah. You know, we stand in our own way thinking that assuming before even knowing. And assumption has destroyed a lot of people and has blocked a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. So I say, white man, if you are interested in a black woman, make that move. Yeah. Ask her her name. Ask her out for coffee. If she doesn't go drink coffee, I'm sure she drinks tea. If she doesn't drink tea, I'm sure she drinks water. And if she doesn't drink water, I'm sure she drinks wine or eat dinner. So ask her out. Don't be afraid. As long as you have a good character, good mannerism about you, and you are very respectful, I believe that if a woman finds a connection with you, she will genuinely agree to go out with you. Yeah. But if you don't ask and if you don't make that move, you will not know. Right. These days, a lot of men are waiting for women to be the ones to make the move. Meanwhile, back in the days, our forefathers, men, they approached our parents, like my mom was at a well fetching water and my dad came right behind her and said, wow, nice body. Let, that's it, let's go out on a date. And they did it. So I think that the men these days need to, you know, grow a pair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I and, said it. Yeah, well, exactly though. <laughs> grow a pair and just go out there, get the woman of your dreams. Don't be afraid. Yeah. What is the worst thing a person can say if you no. approach them? No. Like, no, it's not going to kill you. No, it's not going to break you. All right. The next issue that white men may be having about approaching a black woman is they've got it in their heads that the social tensions between mm. the races are going to preclude her to mm. automatically reject him. Yeah. Because she's thinking his ancestors enslaved us. And so maybe she's hung up on that. So she's going to say no to me, or she's going to think it's weird that I'm approaching her at all. A lot of people are still hanged out on this particular issue. And, and I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, we've gotten comments on our YouTube that we should be together. But this country has come so far. And the beautiful thing about it's that when there is darkness there is also light yeah. you know and we are in the stages of light i believe there is still darkness don't get me wrong but we are in the stages of light and we've come a very long way since mr and mrs loving so we need to give each other some graces and allow each other to love one another for the longest of times black women and white men could never be together okay and so they engraved it in our minds that black were inferior you know during the time of slavery and so it became a thing where even though slavery ended when you put a bird in a cage for the longest time right and you close that cage and you the bird cannot fly the bird cannot fly eventually when you open the cage the bird will even sit in the cage and be afraid to come out mm -hmm. and i think that is the issue we've been told that okay we were not good together for the longest time, we've been told that, oh, you're not good together. You cannot be together. You can, you, you, if you, when you come together, it's, it's a taboo. And so even though the veil and the cage has been lifted up, we are all each in our corners like, do we go together? 
Do we not go together? I do believe that we deserve to give ourselves this love. There has been forgiveness. There has been so much healing and the healing is still taking place in this country. Yeah. And in order for healing to be complete, we need to come together. That's right. And if relationships is what will make this healing complete, then, you know, that, that nothing should stand in our way. Another issue that you may be having that's keeping you from approaching the black woman of your dreams is you might be afraid of what your family has to say mm, about this. Yeah. You might be afraid of what friends have to say about yeah. this. You're afraid of people judging you mm -hmm. for doing this. What would you say? To the white guy. Well, I want this. to ask you, did your family have any reservations when you told them? First of all, when you told your family you met somebody, did they tell them I was black? And did they have any reservations about me? Yeah, well, my family actually was very accepting. Okay. They they accepted Veronica with open arms, and so okay. I never really had to struggle through any of that. Mm. Um, but I have been around people that have exhibited racist viewpoints. Mm -mm. Obviously, racism is just pure ignorance to begin with. Mm -hmm. So it's all about illumination. It's all about opening up someone's eyes. Mm -hmm. So I would say that even if you are in a family that mm -hmm. exhibits some of these issues, mm -hmm. don't let it hold you back yeah. because when they get to know this woman that you're interested in, mm -hmm. obviously there's a great reason that you're interested mm -hmm. in her. And they're going to see it too, mm -hmm. more than likely. Yeah. And that will change their minds and whatever little issues they might have had occasionally, mm -hmm. the, you know, the comments mm -hmm. at the holidays. Yeah. Someone will say mm -hmm. when politics get brought up or whatever and someone mm -hmm. says some racist thing. Her being around is mm -hmm. probably just going to open up their eyes and change their mindset. Yeah. It very well could. And if it mm -hmm. doesn't, frankly, you don't need these people in yeah. your life. These, yeah. these ignorant people that mm -hmm. are stuck on this kind of thing. If you love somebody, no one else should have an opinion about that relationship. No one else should determine who you should be with or who you shouldn't be with. If you live your life like that, your entire life should be lived in a way that makes you happy. If you do the right thing before God, and if you are walking right with God, then you don't have to worry about anybody else. That's right. If you live your life to please people, you will be so unhappy mm -hmm. and you'll be doing yourself an injustice because you deserve happiness. You deserve it. Are you hearing what she's saying? <laughs> you I mean, you better be antsy in your seat to get up and rush out and ask this and black woman out. out because she yeah. is saying, go for it. Go for it. No, because I'm, I'm, I'm actually tired of, you know, people that try to hold others back. Yeah. And they try to portray their fear on other people. And another fear that white men are having when they're thinking about approaching that black woman they've got their eye on is they imagine that she's going to think that he just has some kind of a strange fetish <laughs> for black women. <laughs> for that, too. That, that it's just this thing where it's like, oh, because I'm black, because specifically I'm black, that's the only reason why he's into me. What would you say? to a guy who's afraid of that. Who, and that is obviously not the case. He's just is, afraid of it. Yeah, that is, I, I think that things that we hear, that's why it's so important to monitor what you allow yourself to listen to. Yeah. Things that we hear is what creates these fears in us. And yeah. you probably heard it somewhere that, oh, when white men are attracted to black women, it's like a fetish and then, all of a sudden, oh, I'm afraid. If I approach this black woman, she's they would think, think that. Yeah, she's going to think that of me. That is not the case. Like, why is that even a thing? Mm -hmm. Why can't we just be in love? Why can't we just have a connection, a, yeah. a real connection, and just be together and raise a family together? Why does it always have to be something, you know? Yeah. And it goes back to the conversation we have about the slavery days and, you know, the idea that black and white should not be together. Yeah. They created all these things to to bring a blockage between us so that we will not be together. That's you know, right. if someone doesn't want you to do something, they find a way. No matter, even they have to come up with a lie yeah. to prevent you from not doing that thing, they will do it. And I do believe that that is what has happened when it comes to interracial relationship. They've created all these lies and these stereotypical things to prevent us from being together. Yep. You know, and so that is why sometimes people even leave mean comments on some of our videos. You know, uh -huh. they are trying to discourage us from the, as if, as if, okay, honey, their comments will make us wake up one morning and say, oh, forget it, we yeah. are done with this. Like, you do not have the power, you know. Psychological warfare is super powerful yes. and if you don't have the right to physically keep people apart mm. 
then the best thing that they can do is get into your mind your and mind. change the way that you yes. think about something. Yes. And that's exactly what my wife is saying mm -hmm. and she's 100% spot on. Yeah. I think this whole fetish thing mm -hmm. is just a scapegoat and yeah. it's exactly that. Every time I hear it, I think to myself, why is it that when, say, a white guy finds a black woman attractive, it, oh, it must be a fetish. <laughs> yeah. When white guys are attracted to a white girl, but let's say he's into blondes, mm -hmm. because that's his preference, yeah. no one's gonna say it's no a fetish. They're just gonna say, oh, he prefers blondes. <laughs> yeah. Why can't a white guy prefer black women mm -hmm. and have it be something normal, which yeah. it is. Yeah. It is something completely normal. Yeah. And mm -hmm. there's no reason to make a person feel uncomfortable or strange mm -hmm about what they find attractive because yeah. we all have preferences we yes. all find certain things attractive nobody thinks that that's strange mm -hmm. or abnormal that's just what makes us the unique person that we are and the last reason why white guys <laughs> are probably afraid to approach black women is they think that the cultural differences are going to be insurmountable there's going to be too much of a difference between their worlds and their upbringing for them to ever be able to connect. Yeah. What would you say to this white guy? Well, we do have African-Americans here in America and Africans from Africa directly. Our culture is kind of different. Oh yeah. I make weird noises <laughs> when I'm on the phone. You know, she, like, yo, like stuff like that. I do that. Yeah. And so. What's a few others? Oh, I can't even think of that right now. It's like, mm, oh, <laughs> that's an yes. insult, actually. Oh, okay. That's an insult, you're like, you just have to ruin it. Though. No wonder you know, I hear so, that one all the time. That is not even the best explanation when it comes to the culture difference. But, you yeah. know, we do have a culture. I do believe that when it comes to culture, if you're going to be with somebody, to give them an idea of what your culture is and some of the stuff that you do, some of the stuff that you say, some of the food that you eat, you know, why you do certain things yeah. in a certain way. I do, I do believe that that is very, very important. So it's it, something that you can't ignore. It's something that you cannot but ignore. is it something that should keep them from approaching? No, it's not something that should keep you from approaching. When it comes to culture, you have to have an open mind. You have to understand that, okay, this woman that I'm with comes from a place that does things a little different than I do. It doesn't yeah. mean that our relationship will not work. I come from Ghana. Ooh, we do we have a culture, I brought your boy. We have a rich culture. It yeah. is so rich that sometimes it, it, I take a step back. I myself, I'm still learning things, you know? So just imagine Ted coming from America, born and raised in America, learning all these things because he's married to me. He needed to have an, he, to have an open mind, to keep an open mind. You need to understand that, okay, if I love this woman, then this culture things is all a part of her life and I'm yeah. going to accept it. So yeah. it's just a matter of you making the decision that I'm interested in her and hence I'm going to be open to learning everything that she has to offer. That's right. You bought a book about Ghana. And uh -huh. I think we even have it. Yeah, it's right behind my shoulder, yes. right there. You bought yeah. a book about Ghana and you were interested in learning about my culture. Yeah. And that I read that while we were getting to know each we other. We were getting to know each other yeah. in our very short time of dating. <laughs> and so that actually impressed me. And that was one of the reasons why I actually found you very interesting. You know, I was like, okay, if someone is willing to learn about where I come from, that's the person I want to be with. You yeah. Know? Yeah. This was really incredible. Uh huh. It I, was. And yeah. we hope that it was a huge encouragement yes. to you. There was a day, there was a time when I was sitting where you are thinking to myself, boy, look at her, boy, look at her. <laughs> I'd love to go talk to her. But for whatever reason, something held me back. Yeah. And look what happened when I didn't let something hold me back. And it could be you too. It could be you. So make that move today and tell us your success story. Please. We hope today's video was a blessing. Have a wonderful day, everybody. We'll see you next time. See Don't forget time. to like, subscribe. Yes. Bye-bye.